that allows you to drive the steering wheel in God's car. Faith is actually leaving to God what you cannot control. And because you trust in God, you're allowed to return to today. And when you're allowed to return to today, you're able to see things as they are. And you are able then to see what you can control, like a water bottle and pieces of paper. And you can fix the thing you can control, even if I can't control this heat. When you have faith, it allows you to be intelligent. It allows you to plan properly. It allows you to prepare properly because you are aware of what you can control and what you cannot control. We all know the person who hits the elevator bell and it lights up and they're still hitting it. <laughs> they look foolish, as we all look foolish when we do that. And one of the reasons is you did what you could do, which was hit that button. But if it lights up, you're done. You gotta wait for it. And faith allows you to have the calmness and the peace and the wisdom to keep you from looking foolish so that when you do what you can control, you let it be. And you wait. Y'all with me? Yes. yes. Yeah. Tomorrow has enough evil of its own. King James says, sufficient unto itself is the evil of tomorrow. We're not dealing with that. Too, too, too great, right? Um, tomorrow has its own problems, Jesus is saying. There's something interesting. We're on earth. Earth goes around the sun. Earth spins. Because the earth spins, day turns to night. So uh, tomorrow is when night turns back to day. We're on something that's moving, that's spinning. And our perspective as human beings is we are spinning and we're moving. And so we have many tomorrows. The sun doesn't have any tomorrows. It has one long day. It doesn't spin. It doesn't revolve. It just shines. And so for the sun, while Earth has many, many, many thousands, millions of days, for the sun's relationship to the Earth, it's been one long today. When we trust in God, God loves us the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And the reason it's the same is because for God and us, for God, is one long today. He who helps you neither slumbers nor sleeps. For God takes no break. God takes no sleep. There is no tomorrow for God. It is one constant, long today. God's faithfulness is true every morning because it goes nowhere. It is constant and consistent. When we have faith, we end up taking the perspective not of a shifting earth, but of a constant sun. And so we are allowed to place into God's hand things we cannot control, and what we end up getting back is the one thing that we always had, which was today. If you can enjoy your food today, that is a gift from God. If you can enjoy your soda today, that is a gift from God. If you can enjoy being around the people you're around, that is a gift from God. If you can enjoy all these things knowing that there is a whole lot of problems in this world, in this society, you cannot control and they will get you at one point or another. Yes, they will. Nonetheless, if you are able to trust in God, still feel the nervousness, but leave it in God's hands, you are able to live in today. And to be able to live in today is to be able to live. Seek ye first God's kingdom and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. For some of y'all, that may be a realization that when you seek God first, you are able to get back today. 
and therefore you're able to realize all the things you already have. There are some though I know in here who are really, employment is an issue. Some don't have a job, finances are hard. And to be told, oh, don't worry, relax, it's all right, I know that it's hard to hear. But the truth is that even in the midst of these hard moments, God is with you. There is so much you cannot control. It, the ability to leave that to God is no small trick. It takes strength and it takes courage. But to do that would allow you to get back the one thing you really have, which is your moment now. And you will hear buzzing in your ear, God whispering to you, do not give up. And keep going. I am with you. What gives the bird and the flower its value is not its market value, and it's not its value. What gives it its value is that God pays attention to it. Jesus says, God sees the flower, he quotes it. God sees the bird, even a sparrow, his eyes on the sparrow. When you realize that God is has his eyes on you, you realize that you have value not because of how much money you make or how useful you are, but you have value because you are God's creation. Mm. You have value because God has his eyes on you. So when you seek ye first God's kingdom and his righteousness, you are simply putting yourself in a position to see your love, to see your life as God sees you. And what that does is gives you back said over and over, the one thing you truly have, which is today. Amen.